is a man who did not have a computer. And he wanted to work with us so badly that he would send us stories that he typed on his cell phone, okay? Talk about a level of dedication, right? That made him a special candidate for this program. So what the fellowship has done is, in a very strategic way and purposeful way, focused on skills that you can build on very quickly. And I would, I'll, I'll use the word scrappy in a good way, right? Because what, what the fellowship has done is taught skills that are easy to use on a mobile phone, video and editing skills that does not require a huge cost for our newsroom, uh, the ability to do infographics and use images also that are free and accessible and, and easy to use and bring all of that to our newsroom. His uh, fellowship has allowed him to produce over 140 stories. That's quite a lot in a six month period. He has been particularly focused on our social media activity and we've seen our social media activity increase by 110% since Mario has been on board. He's also been sharing the knowledge and the things that he learned during the fellowship with our, the rest of our staff, pushing our staff to continue to do better, to elevate their level of professionalism and their level of journalism. And he's also been working together with our staff on more multimedia pieces. So our multimedia production has also increased as a result of Mario's uh, fellowship. He's done a particularly special job with the migration crisis that we have in Central America, developed through the use of social media networks, contacts with multiple people who are stuck in uh, Panama, in Colombia, in Ecuador, and has written a series of stories about that. As an organization have a dual mission, right? We are producing journalism every day and we're also educating a new generation of independent journalists in Cuba. This is a country that for over 50 years has not seen independent journalism uh, surge. And so if we're gonna be the player that's going to elevate the level of independent journalism on the island, we cannot do it alone. We need to have partners. We need to have partners across the world that can help us be a part of that and that can help us elevate our journalism to a new level. And that's what Alfred Friendly is doing. It's helping transfer some of the knowledge, some of the skills, and some of the tools that are being used in newsrooms, not just in the United States, but also in other developing countries because other fellows are part of this program who come from other countries around the world and allows for that exchange of ideas to happen. And so we want to be a part of that ecosystem, an ecosystem of media that is transitioning across the world. And Alfred Friendly is at the forefront of that because it's bringing people together from all over the world to have that type of exchange happen here in the United States. That's not only strengthening U.S. newsrooms, but it's bringing and having an impact back in the home countries. And so we see Alfred Friendly as a key player in the transformation of the media landscape in Cuba. Whether it's directly or indirectly, it's happening. Because by empowering us, you're empowering a new generation of Cuban journalists. By believing in Mario, you're not just believing in one individual. You're having a ripple effect. Now it's an entire team that has been affected. And that entire team is going to grow. And it, the skills and tools and knowledge that has been acquired through the fellowship is going to make an impact on that team, on that newsroom, and ultimately in, in our country and in our media landscape in Cuba.